Hey guys, this is Sam Geek. Today, I'm going to do a my thoughts on the Battlefield Bad Company demo. I might buy this game, I might not. It depends if any of you are going to play with me on Xbox Live. I know my, my Call of Duty 4 clan is also going to have a clan for this. So I might buy it just for that. But, let me show off the features of the demo. Alright, I'm going to be a demolition guy. So, here we go. I can either choose to spawn at a, the selected spawn point for your team, or I can spawn right in with my team. So let me spawn in with my team here. As you can see, I'm with my team. Unfortunately, we can team kill, team, team kill so that it puts a disadvantage if there's like dirty little cheaters on there. And um, I'm sorry if I look like I'm sucking, it's just I'm trying to explain the review at the same time. And as you can see, you just go and kill stuff. Any other FPS. But the, the, the environments are extremely instructable, destructible. La, 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 la. And as you can see, once you die, it puts you up to a screen. The points are based on tens, similar to Call of Duty 4's scheme. Very, very fun and easy. So I'm going to be an assault guy this time. And I'll spawn at the farm so I have a better chance of explaining things. We can dr I can drive in vehicles. If I can find one, I'll show you. Oh, shit. Ah. The thing about this game is that you have to work together as a team. And it's a very big environment. So you can't really go solo and just rush up and kill people like in Call of Duty or Halo. For this team you actually for this game you actually have to have team and focus. You have to know the people you're playing with. Which is why I won't buy it unless people volunteer to buy it as well so I can play with them. So I'll be a demolition. Again. I'll spawn at the farm. This is the farm. One of the spawn points you can choose. And I'll show you the the destructibility of the environment. As you can see, the graphics are beautiful. I can see every little smudge on this guy's glove. As well as I can chop up this tree. And it'll come right down. As well if I blow up a bridge or something like that. I can drive vehicles such as this helicopter. As you can see, I can just jump on in. Ah, uh, someone spotted me. Apparently I committed suicide by hitting a tree with a rocket. Eh, whatever. I'm just showing you as an example. Tanks, have, they also have different viewpoints for tanks and stuff. When you're in the vehicle, so you can choose which way you want. I personally prefer third person, but some people might prefer first person. So, yeah. As you can see, I'm in the first person tank right now. And I get to control the, just the regular gun. I get to rip apart trees like nothing. And people. And walls. And ve other vehicles. The thing about vehicles though is that it's not really unlimited. They give you a charge time. So you have to get used to that when you're in a vehicle. Overall, it's a great demo. It's like every other Battlefield game. I haven't tried the single player because it frankly doesn't interest me much. This is a, an FPS made to play online. There's no point in a single player mode. But that's my thoughts on the Battlefield Bad Company demo. So comment if you would like to play because then I might buy it. Whatever. Samuel out.
Oh, I forgot to explain the basis of the game. All right, if you're an attacker, you attack the enemy crates and you try to destroy them. As you can see, my team just destroyed a tank. And um, if you just you keep destroying tanks, and if you're on the defense team, you try to keep people from attacking your crates. So, whoever, if if the, the defense wins, if they just kill you all, and your and they just keep their crates within the time li time limit. But if you're an attacker and you destroy their crates, the game is over. So that's basically how you play that part. I forgot to mention that, so Samuel out.